and welcome back to another Minecraft episode and I am sorry there has been such a wait I've just been so busy but let's get right back into it so uh, let's go to our world glues of 581g and today is the episode we've all been waiting for because you know what's gonna happen today we're gonna beat the ender dragon Ooh. excited yeah by the way did I know that did I mention that Sammy is with us again? I think she was with us for episode four. Hello. So, uh, um, did I build the ender portal yet? Uh, no, I don't think I did. But um, before we even start, um, there's some work that I wanted to show you off camera that I made. Uh, it's really cool. I made it in my other world called Dilapia. Uh, and so I made it in the world the lapia and it's really actually a it's really cool um oh i'm in the nether so i'm gonna have to go through no i, I can't pause uh get out of that okay so um bye so what I did was I found the coordinates zero by zero by zero. And of course that's just like an inch away from the void. So I dug up. So I was away from the void. I dug up to the ground and then I built a train system that led all the way back to my house. And the only way I was able to do it is because I made a book that had the coordinates of my home in it. So I knew where to build to. Now if only I could get myself in air. It won't let me do that for some reason. Hello? What's wrong? Computer? Computer? Oh my god. I'm getting annoyed. Why am I going backward? Oh, uh, I was clicking the backward button. Maybe it would help if I knew which button I was clicking. But anyway, um, these are the different trade systems I have. And one of them leads to my spawning room in this world, and there's, a, but one of them leads to the zero coordinates. So there, yeah, there's just that pig. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna have to catch up with those. You know what, just, just, sorry pig. I had to break your mind cart. Let's just ride the thing. Let's go. We're gonna have a moonlight ride. What? For some reason, it records. Uh, there's a lot more lag when I'm recording. Because yesterday, when I was playing. I think I'm gonna have to turn down my render distance because I'm not going for this. I don't like it. I'm turning it down to short. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. Except that I can't see the sun anymore because it's outside of my viewing distance. Mm -hmm. That's not smart. So, yeah, because I don't have a clock on me, so, and so the sun is how I tell time. So I'm going to make it normal. Now I, at least I can see things in space, right? Indeed. The ground is just like loading in below me. <laughs> what if you caught on fire with the little matches? Um, uh, that's unlikely. Oh. Those are special kinds of matches. They're called redstone torches. Mm -hmm. And redstone torches only light up things made of redstone, mm -hmm. namely TNT. Can I be made of redstone? You want to be made of redstone? Yeah. Underground. Oh, I'm computer. I'm not digging your leg, so you can please quit it out. Oh no. I used to have feedback all the time. Now it's happening again. I think we're almost there. Oh, and now we're turning around. You see, this is why I don't have like, 
Well, actually, it's almost cool because now there are like, trains that are in active transit throughout my system, even though nobody's riding them. Wow. Because um, if you, because if a train bounces into something, then it will reverse direction, and since there are multiple trains, they bounce off each other. Mm -hmm. And so now there's always going to be a constant supply of trains traveling in either direction. It's mm -hmm. awesome. Going up. I'm actually going to change it today. Look at that. Look at that. It's pretty. Yeah. Ooh, pretty colors. If only I could load. When I was playing off camera, it was like the ground, it was like fully loaded, and now it's like nothing. I'm just going to get off this train. Oh, I thought it was supposed to look like that. Whoops. Why would it be supposed to look like that? I don't know. Maybe you could like float to different parts of the ground. I'm just going to let that load. Oh, by the way, I also updated my Minecraft uh, because I hadn't played it in a while because I had so much to do. And introducing the block of redstone. Oh, that's me! And the hopper. Ooh. And the TNT was always there. But um, so that's redstone. That's pure redstone. Redstone dust. Ooh, I like it. It's pretty. That's the pure redstone, but redstone can be found in redstone ore. This is redstone ore. I'm not. I'm surprised it's not under the redstone category. Mm. But redstone dust. If you mine redstone ore, you can get the dust out of it. Mm. I have no idea why doors are under redstone. That seems a bit misplaced. Also, yeah. fence gates. But I'm not sure what a dropper is. Does that like drop down like an anvil or something? Let's find out. Now that the ground is all loaded like it should be, let's get on another minecart. I'm not in the cart. Oh, it went the other way. Ha. Whoopsies. Get in the cart. Okay, I'm in. Oh no. What? I'm like sending like five of them in the other directions. So they're just gonna like mob me from behind. Maybe if you put one behind it. What? What? I, I clicked the forward button. I'm calling shenanigans. What if you put a cart behind it so it bumps into it when it's trying to go that way? And then you ride the one in front. That's a good idea. I should do that. I'm going to try it. Let's try it. Watch them start both going the same way. Oh my gosh! Ah. Oh good, now I'm going the right way. Yay! That was smart for once. Yeah. <laughs> I like that you agree with me. No, I don't like it. The ground's not loaded. I'm just going to walk forward some. Walk, walk, walk. I'm not even going to ride it. I'm just going to walk it so that way it can at least load underneath me. Uh-huh. Yes, and before you ask, we will get to the Ender Dragon. You know what, just like, screw this. Screw this map. I'm, it's too much lag with trains. Let's just go to the end and defeat this thing once and for all. Oh, by the way, um, I have learned something very useful. Um, the 20 minute limit does not exist. Uh, it was actually deleted from my YouTube account a, a long time ago. Uh, it was about a half a year, in fact, um, the 20, the 20, the, actually, I used to have a 15 minute limit, and that was deleted from my account almost about a year ago now, and I was, and I always assumed that the limit had been changed to 20, but it, it never said that I had a limit, it just said that you can now make videos longer than 15 minutes, and, uh, I posted a video for something else that was 33 minutes long, and YouTube didn't have a problem with that, so now we have a new freedom with our videos. Yay! Freedom! And also, I'm pretty disappointed in you, YouTube viewers. I don't know, because there are like some other channels online, like Double and and Sky something or other, and Sky Does Minecraft, and they have like like thousands of commenters a day. And I ask you to comment, and 
they and I look at how many comments my vi my videos have and there are none. Meanwhile, the amount of viewers is about like like 80 or something. So what's up? I I, I don't know. I I'm not liking this and I'm not telling you to comment if you have nothing to say. But if you have a suggestion, I want it. Okay? Because I look at some other. Uh, YouTubers like Double and Clash and people like that and they have like thousands of commenters a day and I honestly don't know how they read all of them in a day but but I, I, I'm just not liking the situation here so could we please improve thank you but um, but with that all out of the way we can now face the Ender Dragon What, do you, what should we talk about? Cats. Yes. Have you noticed Sammy likes cats? Oh, I love cats. Remember when you were into ostriches? Ostriches are great. When I met you, you were into ostriches. Remember the om nom nom nom, om nom nom nom. nom, nom. nom. We always used to walk down the hall and say yeah. om nom with our arms flapping, remember? Yes, I do. And the ostriches that I put up around the room. Oh, yeah, yeah. If In, in case you don't know, Sammy was my camp counselor once uh and in the uh and in the camp room uh she would put ostriches around the room and when we would come in and introduce each other as you would write everyone's name on the board and i wouldn't be dylan i would be dylan stretch dill stretch yeah dill stretch and so i'm just placing the eyes of enders on top of each of the blocks intense. wait for it this is going to be intense sammy this is going to be intense you want to know what happens when all the eyes of Enders are on top of all the blocks. Did it explode? No, I wish it did. Are you gonna make biscuits? The portal shall open. That poor pig almost got sucked in. Um, I, I, I don't think pigs can go through this kind of portal. I think pigs can only go through another portal. Oh, but I like piggies. I'm like girl. Me and girl like piggies. So, hey computer, um, I'm about to go into the end in battle a uh, dragon, so please don't restart on me. That would be really stuckish if you did that. <laughs> I don't know if my I don't know if the computer will be able to handle the lag. I just hope it will. Mm -hmm. Please, computer, I'll turn down the render distance. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just go. Offer the cooking it might help. Yes, and into the end. What? Look, there's the Ender Dragon health bar on top. Wait, have I been here? No, I haven't. What? Did you see that? It just flew through me. I can see his wings. What? Did you see that? No, I didn't. You gotta show me. No, I'm gonna dig up. Digging up is always the safest way to go in the end. Mm -hmm. If you're underground, digging up is always the safest way to go, even if there's an entrance out there. Because, like I said, I couldn't get myself to fly. And if you... And I don't know about you, but there doesn't seem to be a place to land out there. So, oh, what the? Oh, there now I can fly. Going. What? Why is there obsidian? Oh my god, I spawned underneath a tower. That's the best place. <laughs> That's never happened to me before. <laughs> I've never, that's never happened to me before. Well, it was first time for everything. Uh, I'm gonna get some sort of projectile oh. other than that. This is the one where you have to go around and get all of, like the gem thingies and destroy them and then like hit the dragon. Yeah, I showed this to you before, I think. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, yeah, didn't we play this like a long time ago? We did. Yeah, I'm gonna get some sort of projectile, like a snowball. Do it. Snowballed! Like you see, I, I can destroy these things with a snowball. <laughs> hey, you know, for all the people out there who are afraid of the dark, Minecraft is not the game for you. <laughs> because, like, hey, people who made Minecraft, remember when the sky in the end was purple? Could you please make it like that again? Mm -hmm. I liked it a lot better that way. No, um, off camera I was exploring a cave and I, I, I because, uh, because, Found it, it. 
uh, uh, off camera once I was exploring a cave uh, because uh, one time when the thing was still loading in and I could see through the ground that glitch, you know, mm -hmm. and I could see an uh, abandoned mine shaft in the distance, so I dug down where it was, then instead I found a cave that seemed to lead to the mine system. I put down a few torches, but there was just nothing but darkness ahead, so I just turned around. Mm -hmm. I, I, um, is this really all the things there are? You know what? Is my darkness on moody or what? Because uh, it's on bright. I want to know what it looks like on moody. Probably bad. Probably. I'm just gonna try it out. Okay. That doesn't work. Probably don't want to go exploring a cave with that. I think there's some sort of mod where you can where you can download it and then you can explore a cave with full light. Mm -hmm. I, I, I wish I had it. I wish I had it. I, yeah, I'm, and I actually survived. I la I'm actually impressed that I've lasted this long on vanilla Minecraft. Hmm. You know what? No. Speaking of vanilla Minecraft, I'm going to defeat the Ender Dragon the way he was meant to be defeated. In survival mode. Bum, bum, oh. bum! First, I'm just going to put all my stuff in an Ender Chest just in case I'm completely obliterated and I have to return to the regular world. Ender Chest. Isn't that a good idea? It is a good idea. I like it. I'm gonna put my nether rack back in here. I'm putting all my stuff except my snowball and my weapons inside my ender chest. Mm -hmm. So that in case the ender dragon is a complete outmatch for me, I can return to the regular world and still get my stuff. Mm -hmm. Because in case you don't know, uh, ender chests are like regular chests. Uh, and I'm gonna demonstrate that in a sec. No, but ender chests are special. It's like uh, if you have multiple ender chests, there it's what it really is. Oh my god. I forgot this about these things. Whenever you're placing down things and ender dragon flies through you, then that's the end of the stuff you were putting in. Mm. Oh, yeah, look, you see, this is what I mean. Uh, look, you see, if I have an ender chest over here and an ender chest over here, mm -hmm. then, and... I put some stuff in this ender chest and I look in the other ender chest. Mm -hmm. That stuff is it is still there. So it's yeah. so it's like the ender chests connect to another dimension of reality where my stuff is stored. That's awesome. So that's why I use them so that in case I die in another dimension and I can't get my stuff back like if I'm knocked into the void, mm -hmm. then then if I have an ender chest where my stuff is already stored, then I can just retrieve that. No, I just scratched my sunburn. Oh. <laughs> you just, that was random. Yeah, it hurt. I feel like a little lobster today. Except lobsters probably don't hurt all the time. Okay. I've locked all my stuff safely away in the ender chest continuum. Let the game begin. Where is he? Oh, you know what? No, this is probably a bad idea. I don't have armor. I, I'm screwed. <laughs> wow, Dylan, now you realize you're screwed after you go into survival mode and put all your stuff away. <laughs> Fail. Well, we're here now. Hey, is this guy purple? It looks like it changed to purple. That's the best. Look at that. You can see the silhouettes of that thing. Yes, Minecraft, I like you better now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why is the volume turned up so much? It's probably a bad idea for feedback. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ender Ender Dragon. Come to Papa so I can launch an arrow in your mouth. That <laughs> uh, sounds tempting, doesn't it? <laughs>
Some of, kid, well, some of the kids at school are commenting about how random I am. <laughs> no, seriously, sometimes I, I walk down the stairs and another kid's there and is like, Hey, Oscar, are you a squishy squish? Oh, sunburn, sunburn. Why do you do that to yourself? I don't know. I'm just trying to cross my arms, but it's not working. Well, I, we've already spent 20 minutes and we haven't done a single inch of damage to this dragon. It's not even coming toward us. It's probably hanging out by the towers I didn't destroy yet. Why didn't I think of that? There are still towers that are still like, intact. I, I, I didn't know, but it updated. Yesterday when I was playing this, this guy was completely dark. Minecraft, yes, thank you so much. Look, the sky is purple. I like purple. Remember when my hair is purple? Oh, yeah. That was fun. But look, you can actually see the shadows. Yesterday, yeah, I, I, Minecraft must have updated without letting me know because, because yesterday when I was playing, the sky was pitch black. Sammy, give me, give me one of your mega burps. I can't right now. Sammy, yeah, give me one of your natural. mega burps for the whole world to see on camera. I mean, it's gotta be natural. It'll come up. <laughs> Thank you. Be a, do a fart. I'm good. <sighs> no, there's this kid at school who does the best burp you ever heard. Really? Better than mine? Me. Oh. Gotta challenge this kid. Shut no, he up. burps out words. Like, listen to this that happened once. Oh, baby. <laughs> I, I did a bad impression. Lester. <laughs> Lester? Translation, Lester. Dylan. I might go back and edit this video. Dylan. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and edit this video and have some battle music. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> no, not that. Wait, I think I got all the towers now. Oh, no. No, there's still one. It's hey, over there. Hey, Macarena, pop. Hey, I will eat you, poop. <laughs> That's gross. No, it's not. How could you say that? That was nasty. <laughs> hey, I will lick your poop. That's nasty. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> hey Sammy, my favorite drink is diarrhea. <laughs> disgusting. I thought it was apple juice. No, it is apple juice. I was just kidding. I hope so. <laughs> Straws don't belong in toilets. <laughs> to the bathroom. Step two, sit on the toilet. Step three, make some diarrhea. Step Disgusting. four, step four, stand up and scoop it out of the toilet. Drink step it five, water. shove it in your brother's mouth. Oh. <laughs> step six, make him swallow it or else, you, or else you'll make him pay you six dollars. Why not sixty? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's so funny. So, I think I got all the towers. Now for survival mode. You know what? While I'm still in creative, I'm gonna get myself some armor. Alright. Even if it's not gonna be enchanted armor. I'm not gonna enchant it. I'm just gonna make armor. She doesn't need one enchanter, she doesn't need one dances. Please. Not on not on camera. Mm. Embarrassed of my singing. If someone ever comments on this, I'll put a long lecture in my comments box about why this is happening. <laughs> and please read it through carefully. Do you like my soul and so and That's so better. And so and so. Okay, now I'm in armor. Let's do this.
Look, you see, I have my health bar. <gasps> ah! oh, that scared me. I know, it scared me too. So I was like, ah! <gasps> Please stop. I can't. Yeah. It keeps scaring me. Why can't I? Oh, I need arrows. I'm in survival mode. I need arrows. I need to switch back. I'm going to get myself like a, like 80, 64 stacks of arrows. Hmm. What? I'm gonna get like more of them. Is 64 the most you can have in a stack? Yeah. Usually it's 99 for any game. No, Minecraft's different. Minecraft was made with Java, so I think 64 is the square root. And 64 is the uh, is the square is the square of eight. So I think that's why, because this game was made with Java. Okay. Just could get one more stack just in case. No, but if anyone comments about Sammy singing, and actually, please do, uh, then uh, then I'll put a long thing in the comments box for people to read. Seriously. If anyone can guess that too, and write in the comments box, and I will give you four oh llama points. Oh my gosh, Sammy! Sammy, please! Four llama points, you all want the llama points. Lava points? Llama. Oh, llama. I think spinning llamas. And camels and stuff like that. Oh, okay. In fact, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna put the thing in the description. <laughs> this thing's so hard to hit! Do you ever learn to do this? I think I ever did. You know what? No, it's, it, I'm not even gonna do it in survival mode because survival mode it doesn't even come to you. But in in creative mode, you can be in the air, and then it comes to you. So I'm actually gonna do it in creative mode. Sorry for anyone who was expecting to do it in survival, but I, I'm just gonna do it in creative. Where? Where is it? It's kind of violent games. Why did you say that? Because we're shooting dragons. I just remember how to train your dragon and how, how the dragon was peaceful. I never watched that, but... You never watched that? You probably like that movie. I, I probably would. I saw an icon for it once. It looked so cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hey, take an arrow to the face! That wasn't nice. No, well, the Ender Dragon's evil, you know, so it's kind of what well, it I gets. What did he do? Uh, he killed his own people. That's what. I thought he was a dragon. Yeah, he is dragon. He rules the land. No, if only the brightness could be a bit better. Oh, I'm taking off health. Look at the health bar. It's draining. Hey, Sammy, could you please keep an eye on the health bar and see if it's going up? Because if it's going up, that means there's a tower I haven't taken care of yet. I will stand on guard. Sammy, you don't know what you've done. There are some kids at school who like my YouTube channel. Really? What have I done? 
Mm, I'll explain after the video's done. Okay. Why am I so like, tired today? It's one of those days, man. No, Sammy, who says I'm embarrassed? I'm gonna put a link in the description for why not to be embarrassed. About my singing? Yeah. Because I'm awesome and I'm a rock star. Today, uh, with my half siblings, uh, I was uh, I was playing headbands. That's a game where you wear a headband and you put a card in it, and uh, uh, it, and it has a noun on it, and you have to it has an object on it, and you have to guess what the object is because you don't yeah. know what it is. And it was like, am I an animal? Am I alive? And stuff like that. Yeah. Am I food? Uh, and uh, one of the other players was a unicorn. <laughs> And they guessed it, but it, but it took them a while because it was like, it took them a while because it was like, uh, um, one of my friends was helping me, uh, well, not really helping me, they were helping everybody. They were making it too easy for them. It was like, it's the brother of a Pegasus. Oh. That's not very nice. Yeah, it's not nice. And you're like, my knowledge. Yeah, and sometimes the hints actually helped them. Uh, and, uh, sorry if you're watching this, but sometimes they just blurted it out. Come on. I'm gonna spend, like, I'm gonna spend like an hour doing this. Actually, I might, I might, I might make it done in 50 minutes or something. It, yeah, this is like my longest YouTube video yet or something. 32, My longest YouTube video was like 33 minutes. I'm almost there. I haven't even got this thing down to half health. How am I going to do it? ready to shoot it hmm. right mm -hmm. I have to keep a close eye on this thing if it's gonna come at me and your health bar is not going up so you got all the towers yeah right there yes I hit it Skip to 45 minutes and 90 seconds. Hmm. Or something like that. Hmm. I've only got it down to like, 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 oh, I'm hitting it. Ha, Ender Dragon, you thought you were invincible. Oh yeah, oh, sail.
building or something? Mm -hmm. I'm moving. Over there somewhere. Oh, this is ridiculous. Mm. Oh, what? Yeah, and just when I release the arrow is when it decides mm. to appear. I'm sorry. I have to watch this thing. Your face! Got him. One time, uh, one time last summer, I was defeating the Ender Dragon and it flew straight through me and I could see the inside of its belly. <laughs> it's icky. Oh no, Sammy, no. What? No, it's your um, mom's asking I thought you were dinner. looking something up. No. It's a dinner question. Are you coming to dinner with this us? This video's already like, a, like 1.61 gigabytes. Mm -mm. Oh, I lost track of it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's what I meant. It went behind the building again. But it's going to be here now. Maybe if I switch to a sword, it won't see me as appetizing anymore. <laughs> Maybe it will think I'm more appetizing and it'll come and eat me. And Maybe I'll just sort it. A shish kebab. I'm just going to sort it. I think I have to shoot it, though. I, I, no, because the sword, you have to wait till it's close. Yeah, that's annoying. You can usually jump up if you want to hit it while it's in the air. Yeah, if I was using the sword, I would. We only have like three quarters health still. Yeah. Maybe the armor holding up. It wasn't this hard to do it yesterday. I think the Ender Dragon knows it, it that it's on camera and it doesn't want to make a fool of itself on camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, now it's angry. Now it's angry at me. Why? Oh, I think I saw its belly again. I think it went through me again. Hmm. Now it's angry. It's like coming at me. No. No, I think it realizes that there's a threat against it now because I've got it underneath half health. Hmm. And so it's like attacking me now. It gives me the perfect opportunity to shoot it in the face. Sammy, you know I'm gonna get a bunch of spam in my comments box now because of you. Oh, absolutely. Every day.
comment in the video and you still haven't read the description, do it right now, please. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure it says loudly in the title to read the description. Mm -hmm. Sammy, if you play a song, I'm gonna edit you out. You don't play a song. Okay, good. I'm just tired. I'm just very tired. That sunburned cat. In the face. Look, it's almost done. It has like a quarter health. Good. Ah, so that took like 20 minutes. I can't believe that, right? Yeah. And then it's going to be like eight minutes with the credits. Oh. No, Sammy, I, I showed you that once. Remember you played that Making Christmas song? Making Christmas, making Christmas. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, you were just reading through the things that was going through on the screen. Meanwhile, there's making Christmas, making Christmas going in the background. I love making Christmas. I've never seen that movie. I don't think you'd really like it. Why not? I, I, I think I've seen, like, the icon for it. There's, like, that skull face. Yeah, Jack Skellington. I don't know, maybe it would like Yeah, that. well, there, it's actually pretty pretty as skeletons go. Yeah, Jack's one is cool. Unlike like some skulls like you see on Star Trek, the original series. Yeah. And I'm, I, I'm not saying Star Trek, the original series is bad, they just have too many skeletons for me. Like, actually live action skeletons. So, I'm sorry for whoever's watching this. This has been a pretty uneventful episode. Except for Sandy singing, but I... Uh, Should I sing again? No! 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 Mm, I don't know. Alright, I won't sing again. I'll come back to sleep. You, you weren't sleeping. No, I wasn't. Look, it's almost dead. Oh, yes! Oh, that was my sunburn. Look, look! Death to Ender Dragon! That's a pretty death. Goodbye, Ender Dragon. See you next time. Is that the first time you've beaten him? Um, no, I've beaten him other times before. Remember that time when you were doing Making Christmas? Oh. I'm gonna just collect all these experience points. Just wait for them to come to me. Come to me, experience! Come to me. Okay. They're just like gathered. Cause they can't go up. But now they can, I think. Going up. Yeah. I got so much experience from that and there's still all these others. Oh my. You gotta run and get them before they go away forever. No, I don't think experience, I don't think experience points can roll. I think they can only roll toward you. I think I got all of them. Nope. Oh, except for those. Ever, I actually never noticed that the home portal brings you back home. <laughs> I'm a cat. No, wait, I, did I say that? I meant to say that it's floating. I mean, I knew it brought you back home, but I never noticed that it was floating. Oh. I'm gonna collect that egg. It's yours now. They really should make it so that the eggs eventually hatch into more ender dragons. Right now it's just for decoration. Break it. Break it. No. Break it. I'm gonna go into survival mode so I can break it and then collect the item. Now my arm's burning. Oh, I didn't let me collect the item. Oh, look, there it is. There's the item. I'm gonna float back over there. Oh, now I'm gonna have to go back to the egg and I'm gonna have to go back to the end and retrieve that. Uh oh, spaghettios. So, let's watch the credits. There's a little creeper in the eye. 
And then afterward, I'm going to end this episode because this has been, like, overly long. Mm-hmm. I need to do some homework. Yes. You are supposed to start that 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago. Look how great a babysitter I am. <laughs> yeah, instead you've been watching me defeat an Ender Dragon and singing things. <laughs> Making Christmas, making Christmas. Now that I can live with. Mm-hmm. It's our first time and one of the children be surprised. Such a good movie. No, I, I'm going to read this stuff out loud. I like this player. It played well. It did not give up. It is reading our thoughts as though they were words on a screen. Yeah. That is how it chooses to imagine many things when it is deep in the dream of a game. Words make a wonderful interface, very flexible, and less terrifying than staring at the reality behind the screen. They used to hear voices before players could read. Back in the days when those who did not play called the players witches and warlocks, and players dreamed they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. What did this player dream? This player dreamed of sunlight and trees, of fire and water. It dreamed it created, and it dreamed that it destroyed. It dreamed it hunted and was hunted, a dream to shelter. Ha, the original interface, a million year old and it still works. But what true structure did this player create in the reality behind the screen? It worked with a million others to sculpt a true world in the fold of the blah, 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 and created a blah, 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 blah for a blah, 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 in the blah, 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 blah. It cannot read that thought. No, it has not yet achieved the highest level. That it must achieve in the long dream of life, not the short dream of the game. Does it know that we love it? That the universe is kind? Sometimes, through the noise of its thoughts, it hears the universe, yes. But there are times it is sad in the long dream. It creates worlds that have no summer, and it shivers under a black sun, and it takes its sad creation for reality. To cure it of sorrow would be to destroy it. The sorrow is part of its own private task. We cannot interfere. Reality. Sometimes I want to tell them of their importance to the universe. Sometimes, when they have not made a true connection in a while, I want to help them to speak the world they to speak the word they fear. It reads our thoughts. Sometimes I do not care. Sometimes I wish to tell them this word you take through this world you take for truth is merely blah 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 and blah 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 blah. I wish to tell them that they are blah 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 in the blah 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 blah. They see so little of reality in their long dream, and and yet they play the game. But it would be so easy to tell them too strong for this dream. To tell them how to live is to prevent them from living. I will not tell the player how to live. The player is growing restless. Yes, I am. Hurry up. I will tell the player a story, but not the truth. No, a story that contains the truth safely in a cage of words, not the naked truth that can burn over any distance. Give it a body again. Yes, player. Use its name. Dylan Frankel, player of games. Good. Take a breath now. Take another. Feel air in your lungs. Let your limbs return. Yes, move your fingers. Have a body again, under gravity, in air. Respawn in the long dream. There you are, your body touching the universe again at every point, as though you were separate things, as though we were separate things. Who are we? Once we were called the spirit of the mountain, Father, son, mother, moon, ancestral spirits, animal spirits, jinn, ghosts, the green man, then gods, demons, angels, poltergeists, aliens, extraterrestrials, leptons, quarks. The words do not change. Oh, no, the words change. We do not change. We are the universe. We are everything that you think isn't you. You are looking at us right now through your skin and your eyes. And why does the universe touch your skin and throw light on you? To see you, player, to know you, and to be known. I shall tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a player. The player was you, Dylan Frankel. Sometimes it thought itself human, on the thin crust of a spinning globe of molten rock. The ball of molten rock circled a ball of blazing gas that was 330,000 times more massive than it. They were so far apart that light took eight minutes to cross the gap. But it was information from a star, and it could burn your skin from 150 million kilometers away. 
Sometimes the player dreamed it was a miner on the surface of a world that was flat and infinite. The sun was a square of white. The days were short, there was much to do, and death was a temporary inconvenience. Sometimes the player dreamed it was lost in a story. Sometimes the player dreamed it was in other things, other places. Some of these dreams were disturbing. Some were very beautiful in dream, very beautiful indeed. Sometimes the player woke from one dream into another, then woke from that into a third. Sometimes the player dreamed it watched words on screen. Let's go back. The atoms of the player were scattered in the grass, in the river, in the air, in the ground. A woman gathered the atoms. She drank and ate and inhaled, and the woman assembled the player in her body. And the player awoke from the warm, dark world of its mother's body into the long dream. And the player was a new story, never told before, written in letters of DNA. And the player was a new program, never run before, generated by a source code a billion years old. And the player was a new human, never alive before, made from nothing but milk and love. You are the player, the story, the program, the human, made from nothing but milk and love. Let's go even further back. The seven billion 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 atoms of the player's body were created long before this game in the heart of a star. So the player too is information from a star. And the player moves through a story which is a forest of information planted a man called Julian on a flat infinite world created by a man named Marcus that exists in a small private universe created by the player who inhabits a universe created by Shush. Sometimes the player created a small private world that was soft and warm and simple. Sometimes hard and cold and complicated. Sometimes it built a model of the universe in its head, flecks of energy, moving through vast empty spaces. Sometimes it called those flecks electrons and protons. Sometimes it called them planets and stars. Sometimes it believed it was in a universe that was made of energy that was made of offs and ons, zeros and ones, lines of code. Sometimes it believes it was sometimes it believes it was playing a game. Sometimes it believed in, sometimes it believed it was reading words on a screen. You are the player, reading words. Shush. Sometimes the player read lines of code on the screen, decoded them into words, decoded words into meaning, decoded meaning into feelings and emotions, theories, ideas, and the player began to breathe faster and deeper and realized it was alive. It was alive. Those thousand deaths had not been real. The player was alive. You. You are alive. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken through it through the, through the sunlight that came through the shuffling leaves of the summer trees. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the light that fell from the, from the crisp night sky of winter, where a fleck of light in the corner of the player's eye might be a star of a million times as massive as the sun, boiling its planets to plasma in order to be visible for a moment to the player, walking home at the far side of the universe, sunny, smelling food again, blah, 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 blah. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the zeros and ones, through the electricity of the world, through the scrolling words on a screen at the end of a dream. And the universe said, I loved you. And the universe said, you have played the game well. And the universe said, everything you need is within you. And the universe said, you are stronger than you know. And the universe said, you are the daylight. The universe said, you are the night. And the universe said, the darkness you fight is within you. And the universe said, the light you seek is within you. And the universe said, you are not alone. And the universe said, you are not separate from every other thing. And the universe said that you are the universe tasting itself talking to itself, reading its own code. And the universe said, I love you because you are love. And the game was over and the player woke up from the dream and the player began a new dream. And the player dreamed again, dreamed better. And the player was the universe and the player was love. You are the player. Wake up. I hope you enjoyed this Minecraft episode, and I'll see you next time.